Disclaimer, this video is for information only. We are not responsible for any damage to your machine caused by you following these instructions. Before you begin, ensure you've taken the proper precautions of anti-static. We'll also be using a prying tool. Start by loosening the five captive screws along the edge and side of the unit. Then gently pry from the top of the unit before pulling the back panel off. This should not require a lot of force. If it seems stuck, either try loosening the screws further or gently prying along the sides as well. Do not pry along the bottom edge of the unit as this is likely to damage the tabs. This unit's memory is onboard only and is therefore unupgradable. The M.2 SSD should be immediately serviceable. When removing the SSD, note the thermal pad may stick to the SSD instead of staying on the system. If this happens, remove the thermal pad from the SSD and place it back onto the system or onto the new SSD you are installing. The heatsink is attached by four screws and should be fairly simple to access for repasting, with a fan pointing out the left side or the right side when in use. Nestled between the fan and the heatsink is a Wi-Fi card. The cables are routed to both sides of the unit using these cable management clips. The webcam cable is just below the Wi-Fi card, while the display cable is over in the top right. They're routed separately into each side of the display assembly. If your unit is LTE compatible, the slot for the WAN card is to the right of the SSD. This should also be where the antenna are routed. The speakers are at the top of the unit with the connector being below the right hand screw, and the door to board for the right side USB connects below the fan. Once done, line the bottom of the back panel, ensuring it fits into the bottom of the unit. Ensure the tabs along the side and front of the panel are in place, and then tighten the captive screws on the base of the unit. If you have installed a new SSD with no operating system, now we'll form a fresh install of Windows. If you're unsure of how to install Windows, we'll leave a link in the description to our blog where we go over installing Windows in more detail. 